Okay, folks, got Hot Wheels Premium set here today. Drag strip, demons. Yep, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's flip it over, see what we got. And they make it so that you can't flip it, of course. Now, here we go. Let's see if we can zoom in on this bad boy. All right. Move out a little bit. We got a 65 Dodge Coronet. We've got a Volkswagen Classic Bug. We've got a 64 Chevy Nova Gasser. We've got a 73 Plymouth Duster. And we've got a 33 Willis. Should be a pretty cool set. All right, let me get her opened up for you. Interesting. Comes in, This one comes in a red shipping container. Pretty cool. Yeah, just so you know, this these containers by Hot Wheels are really hard to get the cars out of, and they really should change that design. So here's what it looks like, basically, out, coming straight out of the container. You can see it just fits in there, but it fits insanely tight. So, so there you go. All right, let's start reviewing cars. Review these bad boys one at a time. Okay. First up, let's go with a Dodge Coronet. There we go. Look at that. Nice looking Ram Chargers on the side of this bad little boy. Original Ram Chargers. Let's see if I can see what's on the side here. To zoom in. Nope, I can't zoom in anymore. And my eyesight is terrible. So got Dodge above the on the fender well, left front fender well. Got nice striping down the sides. I like this. I never seen striping like this on the on the roof of a car. That's really cool. That's a good look. Let's turn around. Got the big end. Eight cylinder intakes there. Very sweet. Got the hood locks there. Releases. Decently modeled front end. Yeah, that's this is a good looking car. This thing's fast because it's it's pretty heavy too. I, I like this car. It's it's definitely worth the money. Let me see if I can read this real close. I think, now don't don't quote me, like I said, my eyesight's bad, but I think this says candy white, right? Right here, I think it says candy white. So that's cool. Let's take a look at the rear end. Yeah, nicely modeled on the rear end. Something you just might drive to the drag strip yourself, just any, any particular day. Yeah, I got, look at that. Wow, wow, look at that. Look how far that trunk is on this car. Look how long the trunk area is. That's interesting. I'm wondering what this would do on the Hot Wheels track. That's a very interesting car. I've never seen one that the wheels were so, the rear wheels, the rear axle was so far forward. But look at that. That's really cool. Got a lot of modeling underneath. Got a lot of the motor and the tranny underneath there model. Got the diff modeled. Yeah, nice, nice car made in Thailand. This is a nice car. Got the, got the side running light there up front. Got the door handles. Got a gas cap on this thing or not? I don't I don't see a gas cap. But you know, they did have them in, in the they did at this point in time they put them in behind the tail the license plate. So not surprising there's not necessarily a gas cap on this car. So is there like a little tail light there running light on the side or is that just, I think that's a glitch in the paint job. 
So may have just a tiny little glitch in the paint job. Otherwise, this is a cool car. Two different kinds of wheels on it. Really, really cool. Look at that. That's 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 a sweet little car. Gotta love that. All right, let's move. Hey everybody, uh, sorry for the glitch here, but I just discovered something. I was taking some beauty shots of this car, of this Dodge Coronet for the Diecast Pro phone app, and I discovered that when I looked underneath, that this car, best I can tell, I've looked in a lot of places, does not have a skew of any sort on it. I can't find it. Now, I'll get on the on the Google machine and take a look-see for what its model number, SKU number, within Hot Wheels Mattel system is. I'm sure there will be a car that has a SKU there, but this car seemingly, I can't find it, does not have it stamped on the bottom. It's the first Hot Wheels I've never, I've ever found that did not have a SKU stamped on the bottom of this of the car. Now, there was one place, I was thinking right there, right there on the exhaust manifold, I, I, you know, I, it's just kind of bumpy right there, and I was like, well, maybe that's a skew, and it's so tiny, I can't see it. But, based on what I'm seeing, <clears throat> there's no skew on this car. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the bug from Bug Formance. Wow, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> I like the purple color, the brown wheels. This is a sweet little ride. Look at that. And what does it say on the side? Slug bug. There you go. With a 950 tempo in the window. Bring it up a little closer. Lots of tempo on the side, Hot Wheels on the side. Yeah, this is a sweet little bu bug. Now, is that thing open? It's interesting. No, it doesn't seem to open, but it's... So what's going on with that? Is it is it like that because the slug bug had such a big motor that it needed extra space? So in real life, it was real like it was actually like that. I've never Googled the slug bug, never looked at it, looked it up or anything along those lines. So that's a sweet little ride. Look at that. Very nice, very nicely done, Hot Wheels. Yeah, I like this car a lot. Once again, great tempo on this slug bug. Come back. Almost has a woody look. You know, the paint job has almost got the woody look. Got the split rear window. <laughs> Very cool. And then what's going on with all these? It's got the bumpers on the rear model and the tail lights. Really nicely done. And then is that a, is that a, shh, is that thing in the center? Is that a ball to uh, put a trailer on? Or is that a parachute? Or is that something to keep your car from rearing up like Herbie the love bug? Or what, what's going on with that? But you know, this slug bug is really cool. I, I like the, I like the bumpers on the front of it, the headlights. This is this is one of my more favorite cars in a while, quite frankly. It's it's done really well. Really, really, really well, Hot Wheels. I'm I'm very appreciative of this, this particular car. Let's take a look, see where it was made, etc. Got the tranny, everything modeled in the back. That looks like a 
tailpipe there. Yeah, that's the tailpipe, okay, in the rear there. Very cool. Should have known. I've seen enough bugs and 356s and whatnot, so from the from the Germans there, I should have known, but eh, it's always the case when you're making a video. You always goof something up. So there you go. Slug bug. All right. Let's take a look at Mother's Little Helper. Chevy Gasser. Very, very cool car. Now, this one is a Woody of sorts. Nova Gasser. 64 Nova Gasser. Very sweet. Once again, got some tempo back, back here. Got the Got the wood on the side, nice blue color, clear windows. Got the roll cage inside, spin around. Got the eight, big eight cylinder in there. That's, uh, look at that. Look at that, wow. Monster motor inside this thing. Got nicely done dash, everything inside, interior done in silver. Front end done very well. Big, wide, fatty tires. Very cool. Look at that. Is that not sweet or what? Mother's little helper. Wow. Love the wheels on these. These, these are five spoke, I believe. If I look closer, I need to look a little closer. Let's see if I can see what's on the rear there. Yeah. Once again, my eyes are so terrible. This is the first time I've ever seen this car. So, eh, I think they could have done a little bit more with the tail lights. Looks like they've tried to put a little red on there, but wow, it's minimal at best. Wow, nice car though, very nice car. Let's take a look at the info on the car here. Yeah. Very cool. Now, when Abos does like a lifted front end there, they always put this extra stuff here that, wow, that would, that would, on a Abos track, that would really possibly hinder the car. But, I don't know. Like I said, when they do a lifted car, they seemingly almost always do that. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice car. Well modeled. I know a lot of people love it. But, still for me, the bug is the, the, bug is the one so far. All right. Plymouth Duster. 71 Plymouth, or excuse me, 73 Plymouth Duster. This is a good one. Look at the purple on this, really cool. Last stand. Hmm. Is that 973 in the, in the window? I think it is. Got a Mopar down at the bottom of the door. Got duster in the rear back here. Got a lot of good tempo on this car. I'm going to have to review it a little bit more after I'm more familiar with it. Look at that big hood scoop right there, bringing air into that big, I guarantee you this thing's got a big motor. Okay, you think that bug got a big motor. It, it's got a wimpy motor compared to this car. Wow, this thing's a monster. Yeah, look at that. Got a Hot Wheels tag on the front, looks like. Plate. Love the stripe on the hood going into the big intake. The striping on the side is well done as well. As well. Look at all this. This is a great car. Drag step drip demons is a lot more impressive than I thought it would be. I'm I'm good good rear end modeled very well versus the Nova. This one's modeled a lot better. I'll 
Take a look underside here. Yeah. Interesting that I got text over here behind the wheels. Very rare you see the text behind the wheels. So if there's anything. Okay, got your Hot Wheels logo in front of the front axle. Don't see that often. So they they spent a lot of time and effort on the between the axles modeling some stuff, not a whole lot. And the rivet there that took away from being able to do the tranny at all. And I guess what would these little what would those be? Those would be some sort of cooling mechanism for the car? What well, would need to be cooled back there? I, I'm not quite sure what that would be back there. So, any experts out there know what know what's going on there? Oh yeah, now I can see a little better Firestone on the rear there, Mopar, Bell helmets, Valvoline, Hot Wheels, Plymouth, Last Stand. And there's one right behind the wheel there. It's really tiny. Yeah, great car, great car. Moving on, let's go to the 33 Willis, the gasser truck. Look at that, wow. Now this is interesting. I've yet to see one from Hot Wheels that had the bed with a, what would you call that? Um, that's, is it mimicking a open bed that's rusted? Because obviously the roof is supposedly rusted. The doors are rusted. The fenders are rusted. Is that mimicking a bed that's rusted? Or is that supposed to be a cover, like a tonneau cover, over the bed that's rusted? You know, you got me. I have no idea what's going on with that, but it's a good look. 302 Hemi on the hood. Got a big intake on the car once again the truck itself is called rust bucket it's very appropriate is that a 65 i'm seeing on the, on the side of the cab i think that says or a63 not quite certain there check out the wheels on this thing wheels and tires really cool this a sweet little ride. Look at the front. Well done. Well done, Hot Wheels. It's it's right up there with the bug in terms of just looking great. Look at that. It's a great little, great little model. Rust bucket. I'm I'm a fan, Rust Bucket. Any tempo on the side by Rust Bucket there? Let's see. I can see what that is. Oh, it's got a couple of moon eyes there. It looks like moon eyes. Yeah. Very cool. Take a look at the rear. Oh, got a little. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so it's probably got a parachute in back or a chute in back, looks like. And got a nice got a nice bumper on it. Got some rusted areas where probably the tail lights were at or where the hinges on the tailgate were at. So Having a parachute back there, that kind of makes sense that the, there's a cover on there. And there's a couple little hinges, looks like little, or rather, locking mechanisms there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And let's flip her over. Take a look and see what's underneath. Okay. You know, this set's been pretty nice. It has not disappointed at all. Really aren't any weak cars in this set. It's it's a nice little set. Let me, let me pull back real quick. We'll throw them back up here real quick for everybody to take a look at. It's a nice set of cars. These boxy cars from the 60s. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they're coming or going. Not bad at all. Good set of cars. I like it. Thanks, Hot Wheels. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.